Located in the Czech Republic, Valtice is situated in southern Moravia, a cultivated landscape that surrounds the former Feldsberg. For many centuries, it was also home to the dynasty of the princes of Liechtenstein. It is an historic place, full of opposites. A world of antiquity and barbarians, Christians and pagans. Moravia was also part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, a proud and noble land. Long before the influence of the Habsburg monarchy, the bishops of Passau held power here in the 11th century and had several well-fortified residences built. Then followed the lords of Kuhnring and Rahenstein. Finally, the Liechtensteins took this property over in 1395, and what was formerly a Gothic fortress transformed into a magnificent Baroque castle. Following the Second World War, it was confiscated by Czechoslovakia. Valtice Castle has been rebuilt and enlarged many times. Prince Karl Eusebius of Liechtenstein had a particular fondness for art, architecture, alchemy and the breeding of fine horses. During his reign, Feldsberg was an important cosmopolitan centre of culture and the prince's passion for collecting eventually resulted in a large collection of treasure. The splendor of the imperial hall and dining room is an indication of the prince's artistic eye. No expense was spared. With the finest lead crystal, precious wallpapers and stucco. The former billiard hall is decorated with the paintings of Dutch artists and ornate ceramic fireplaces adorn the corners of the various rooms. The former Chinese salon features paintings by numerous famous Flemish artists. And this coffee service testifies to the noble taste of the royal family. The Rococo design is exquisite. The ceilings and walls are covered with plaster marble and delicate gilded stucco. The west wing of the castle contains the painting gallery. Next to it, the Wenzel room that contains the portrait of Josef Wenzel of Liechtenstein. The prince was not allowed to use the term residence. That was a term used only for imperial buildings. Consecrated in 1726, the magnificent Baroque Castle Chapel is regarded to be the most beautiful of its kind in Moravia. The princes observed mass from the richly decorated Dominion Oratorio. And Banduzzi and Manadi created an illusionistic ceiling fresco. The castle would not, of course, be complete without an impressive park and garden. Thus, a masterpiece of garden architecture was created here. A curious observation tower in the form of a Moorish minaret is the symbol of the castle's huge park. From its 60-metre-high gallery, there's a splendid view of the entire garden complex, which merges with the adjacent Lednice Park, one of the most beautiful parks in Europe. The country's border once led directly through the middle of the park. Valtice was in Moravia, 
and Lednice in Austria. And there's more. Monumental buildings such as an Apollo temple and further buildings that highlight the romanticism of the early 19th century. In 1790, Prince Alois I had the idea of creating a park that would extend between Lednice and Valtice. Ponds and canals were built and rivers diverted. It became a paradise for aquatic wildlife. Exotic trees and floodplain forests were planted and several monuments were constructed in the extensive grounds. Just over the border between 1816 and 1827, Prince Johann I had the small and charming border castle built, which was designed by Franz Engel. It was a symbol that the power of his family did not stop at a national boundary. A boundary stream flows beneath the castle. The English garden design fully complements the floral splendor of this remarkable setting. Another romantic building is the Diana Temple, which has the form of a triumphal Roman arch. It was designed by Josef Hartmut and constructed by Josef Kornhassel. The reliefs were created by Leopold Kiesling of Vienna. Following the hunt, breakfast was taken upstairs. Valtice is also a famous wine growing area. Its climate promotes the late maturation of the grapes and creates wine with rich and spicy flavors. Close to the castle, Prince Johann I had a colonnade built to commemorate the members of the royal family. Pride and honor are important to any royal family, and so it's not surprising that there's a stylistic reference to the Gloriette that is to be found in the grounds of Castle Schönbrunn in Vienna. The Liechtensteins reigned for almost six centuries, this was their wonderful castle and their Garden of Europe.